Hi, this is Terry. I've been maintaining a 180 pound weight loss for over a year with a clean, whole foods, meat focused, low carb, low calorie approach. Hello, I have some new subscribers and I want to show you all how I do my meals. So I have a rotation of four meals defrosting at all times. This is day one, back here is day two, back there is day three, and that's day four. So there's constantly four days defrosting. So day one is always tomorrow. So whatever tomorrow is, tomorrow is, uh, <laughs> tomorrow's Monday. So I just take the stack of day one out and I set it over here. <clears throat> then I pull this one forward, I bring this one forward, and then I add in two more, or one more, because then, so Monday, this is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now I need to put in Friday. So where does Friday come from? The freezer. All my meal preps are right here. That's all my meats right there. Um, sometimes I have other things around, like gravies. If I think I want a gravy, I pull out a, frost, a frozen gravy. So this is my meat. So I need a lunch and I need a supper. So I'm gonna put that in here for the moment. I also need a, a breakfast. I've been taking one and a half burgers for breakfast. So I wanna put that on my stack. It's, it's December and we've been doing these fun little cheese things from Aldi. So I'm gonna put my cheese in there so I don't forget that. And then I need a side dish. Um, I'm gonna finish up. I made these roasted vegetables a while ago. So I'm gonna to toss these back there. And that, so that is my rotation. So I pull my breakfast, my lunch, and my supper and a vegetable out. I only pull out one vegetable. Why? Because I have the all, hang on, let me show you. I have all those salads right, right there. Those are all made up and ready to go. So I pulled out today's stack. Now I'm gonna grab my salads, one salad and a bunch of fixings and we're gonna go get it prepped for tomorrow. First thing I do is I come over here and I just I just set the things down and I look at what I pulled out. This is ground beef and ground beef. Okay, so I'm having ground beef for supper tomorrow. Sorry, I had to pull some out of the, of, out of the dishwasher. Um, so I'm having ground beef tomorrow. I always take whatever the vegetables are, that's supper. So I'm gonna set, put this, this hamburger and these vegetables back in the fridge for tomorrow. Be right back. Next, I'll make the decision. What do I want to eat with this ground beef? Well, I think I'm gonna do burger in a bowl. So let me get all the things that I need for a burger in a bowl, just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some ketchup, just some G. Hughes ketchup. And I'm gonna put a little bit in this container. And I think this container is not gonna be big enough, but I'm, it's fine. For now, I may have to get another container. And then I also like this G. Hughes hamburger sauce. I actually water it down and put it in this container. See how thin it is? It's not normally that thin. It's really thick, but I thin it out so that it's less calories. So I'm gonna put a little squirt into there. And so that, I, I put it in a container because I don't want it to be microwaved. So I'm gonna put it in that container. I also would like to take a little bit of pickles to go onto it and since I that's, I didn't get a big enough little thing I'll use another one these are some pickles that I actually did up today it's I actually took a couple containers of bread and butter pickles along with a container of uh, pickle relish and I cut up some cucumbers so I just kind of made up my own and then I added some extra vinegar to it I'm gonna use this on my salad too. So I want some of that on it. Up oh, and I, well, I'll put it on. Then we're gonna season it up. Come on. Okay, so I've got these to go with my burger. And let's get our ground beef. I'm gonna put some seasoning on it. I like this farm dust. It's a, uh, I don't know, it's a uh, kosher salt, sea salt, dried onion, and garlic. So it's just kind of an everything seasoning. So I'll put some of that in there. 
And I'm going to put a little bit of my garlic lover seasoning in there. And there we go. And tomorrow, I want to make it like a bacon burger. You could also put cheese in yours. I like cheese, but I've got cheese with breakfast. And cheese is a lot of calories. So I don't need any more calories than I already have going to be eaten. Give me just a second here. Okay. So I'm going to do about a handful of bacon pieces in there. Eh. Okay, two handfuls. So, uh, so that is how I'm going to do my burger in a bowl. So I'm going to put that there and that there. Oh, and I got my cheese and my burger for in the morning. I'm just going to throw it into here. <clears throat> so that way I remember to eat my cheese with it. So for December, I got one of those advent calendars, so I need to remember that. So, all right. So that'll be my breakfast. That's part of my lunch. Now we got to make up our salad, but give me a minute to kind of, this is getting to me. Hold on. Okay, we've got our salad. I make my salads and I store them up upside down with the paper towel on them. Kind of helps keep them from getting too soggy. And to be honest, I had a salad this week last about 13 days. So I use cabbage instead of lettuce. You don't have to. My mama loves spinach and there's all different things out there, but I like cabbage because I like the crunch that it gives me. I'm pu I put some seasonings. This is some um, Flavor God Ranch. I like the seasoning called guacamole and more. I got it on Amazon. I got a storefront. If you, if, if you go to the description of this video, a lot of these seasonings that I use, um, this is some Greek seasoning, but a lot of the things that I've bought over the years, I have a a, a link to so that way people can find it easier a lot of times people ask me about this and there's a link to to where i got this okay so we've got our seasonings i'm going to add a few tomatoes looks like it's pretty full so i can't add a whole lot of things and um, we're going to add some regular oh my goodness hold on you see that my lid was not on very tight that's about i cut up some bell peppers this weekend and uh, I did not have the lid on very good. That's kind of, I'm glad it didn't do it while it was, while I pulled it out of the refrigerator. All right, so there's a few little bell peppers I'm going to put in there. Make sure I get this lid on better. And uh, we're going to put in a few of these are um, mild banana peppers. So we got bell peppers, some banana peppers. Now, I have videos where I make these salads. I do it on the weekend. Then that way, during the week, it doesn't take me as long to make my salads. Or to, you know, to prep for the week. Then these, like I said, this is just a big old mixture of bread and butter pickles. Sugar, it's all sugar-free. Um, sugar-free sweet relish and cucumbers. So that's all that is. And like I said, then some I added in some vinegar. So I'm gonna put a little of this liquid on top here. I was too lazy to make my own, but if you want to make your homemade sugar-free uh, bread and butter pickles or homemade uh, vinegar pickles, cucumbers, vegetables, whatever, I've got a link in the description of the video where I make where I make that. Now, my salad dressing. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, jicama. I didn't show a video of that because I found, I went to the big Walmart today and they had some, whoop, whoop, they had some jicama. I was so excited. <clears throat> so now, I set this on here <clears throat> and I have salad dressing. My salad dressing is a mixture of the G. Hughes Polynesian and G. Hughes Honey Mustard. The reason why I use these is his salad dressings are about 60, 70 calories a piece. His sauces are, this one's 20, and this one is 10. So, for 20 calories, you get, you know, you get great flavor. I'm all about less calories. So, I put these into here, and it's half the dress, those, and then half water. So, I dilute it, so that way, I, this should be 30 grams, but I can put in 60 grams. So, now I put this on. Sometimes I get 60, sometimes I get 65, sometimes I get 70. That's 68 right there. 
And then I put my lid on here. It's quite full. That is why I call this a bass. A big A-word salad. Oh, it's been a while since I hadn't got one to close. Ha ha, be smarter. No, it, it ain't matter being smarter. This thing is full. I'm gonna set it down in here. I had one leak one time, and so now I'm paranoid, so I just put a, a little dealy underneath it. So now, we put it down into my, my lunch box. All right, we got that in there. <coughs> got my my burger in a bowl in there, and I've got the additives for my burger in a bowl for lunch, and I've got my breakfast, and I take an apple, and this is an Envy apple. I know some people say, well, an apple isn't keto. That is very true. I am low carb now. I'm not true keto because that's what's working, and I made up a new, pa a new thing of um, unflavored electrolytes. Um, the link to how to make that is in my in the video description too. So always check out my video description. I have a bunch of stuff, random stuff in there. So now I put this in the refrigerator. In the morning, I will grab this when it's time to go to work. So I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. We have caramel vanilla coffee this morning. So let's see what we think. I'm gonna leave my electrolytes out until I get it made, and we'll see. We'll taste it just plain. Okay. Put some ice in it. Let's see what you think. Taste the vanilla. Taste the caramel. Yeah. Okay, so leaving the electrolytes out, I can taste the flavor a little bit better. It's still muted, but like I said, you know, I'd run it through twice, but... Yeah, it doesn't taste like black coffee or, you know, plain coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would buy caramel vanilla coffee if Aldi had it. All right, I'm on board with this one. Was not on board with some of the others, that is for sure. So, all right, I'm going to get ready because I go to work. I go back to work today. It's my first day at work. Hello, I'm at work. Let's try our cheese today. The flavor is sweet English cheddar. And that sounds fancy. Let me get it open. Hang on. Okay. I don't know what's English about it. it tastes like mild cheddar cheese. Not sweet. Mmm, this tastes like mild cheddar cheese, but it's good. I got that and my little nut burger. Mm -hmm. I'll see you at lunchtime. Bye. So now I come into my office for my lunch and I will open up my pickles first. It's funny, I couldn't remember if I seasoned my meat. So I, I took my tongue and went, mm, and I tasted the meat. It's seasoned. I just couldn't remember. So, I'm going to go on and add our pickles to our burger. And we're going to add our ketchup and burger sauce to our burger. Got to open it carefully because it's real thin. <clears throat> okay. Now, we taste our salad. It's always good. I love my salads. Come on, fella. Mm -hmm. If you're new, I love meal time. Lunch is actually my favorite meal. Because I get so full. I get a real good dopamine hit. Whenever I eat and get full, mm, I get a good dopamine hit. 
I probably shouldn't, you know, strive for that. But it is what I get when I eat lunch. Mm-hmm. And apple. And that been my lunch. And I'll see you at supper. Yup. Lunchtime is my favorite meal of the day. I just ate some lunch. And I'm sipping on some tea. Some caffeinated tea. It's good to be back, baby. Y'all, we got so much to talk about. I done had five, uh, five panic attacks this afternoon. Okay, maybe just four. Anyway, so I got serving of ground beef. I went ahead and put it in with these roasted veggies because I need some comfort food, and that is going to be this pasta sauce on top of it. So uh, even though I want comfort food, I still need it to be controlled. So I'll do 125 grams, okay, 189 grams of pasta sauce. And I'm going to add in this cheese wedge. This is the, uh, what the heck, Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge. I forget what they're called. And we're going to season this up. Um, hang on. All right, we've got some garlic seasoning. I mean... Some Greek seasoning, little adobo, because you got to have seasonings. You can't, you can't not have seasonings, y'all. Seasoning is life, man. Then we're going to put in some of these roasted red bell peppers. I'm telling you, I done. So I went to the beauty supply to pick up something, and um, holy smokes, I couldn't find my, my credit card. So then I'm freaked out, and I might. Where do I use it last? So then I'm racking my brain and, and going through the whole, you know, the mind process. Here, let's put in some everything bagel too. Uh, going through everything. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So I come home. Now this, yeah, this mess is what I'm going to heat in the microwave. Hang on. Uh, so here it is all stirred up. Let me take a bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen, you can make anything taste good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I need to microwave a little longer. You see me take a bite. You know it's good. I'm going to pop this back in the microwave and we're going to talk. So, <clears throat> I'm in the beauty supply trying to pay for my stuff. Can't find my credit card. Freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, where did I lose it at? What did I do? Digging through my purse, never could find it, so I went ahead and paid for his stuff. Anyway, come out to my car, looking through my car, can't find it, stressed out. I come home, I open up my garage door, push my button, and up goes the garage door. Okay, great. Drive into my garage, I push the button, and it quits working. It won't close my garage door. So I had to get out and do it from inside. Which I, I'm not above getting out of my car to raise and lower my garage door. But that it has a green light on it. Look. See that green light? That means it should be doing it. If I push this one, it's a red light. But it's a green light, it should be working. So anyway, so I'm like, Ugh. So I come inside. The dogs, of course, you know, they're all excited. Mom's home. Mom's home. So they're excited. They want to eat. So my mind's going, brrr. so I'm having a conniption about my credit card. I'm having a conniption about my jobber. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, now these guys want to eat. Of course, they want to eat. They're hungry. So I come in, I get them fed. And then I'm like, all right. So I dig through my purse, still no credit card, get a flashlight, go out to my, go out to my car, looking in my car, hoping maybe I'll find my credit card. Look and look and look. No, no credit card. So then I'm like, so I go to the web, uh, app for my credit card. I go to the chat and I'm like, I'm just going to have to cancel it. So I'm like, well, when did I use it last? I'm like, well, maybe I used it Sunday. Well, Sunday I was wearing a dress. There's no pockets on it. Okay, fine. So I go in there and I'm like, all right, I got to cancel and get a new credit card. Because somebody's going to be having fun with my card. So I go to the chat on the app and... And I'm like, um, lost credit card. So then the little, of course, automated thing. 
Would you like to report a lost college, or lost or stolen credit card? If so, we will s s get you to the department to get a new one or whatever they said. I'm like, yes. And then I was like, wait a minute. The last thing I actually used my card for was uh, paying for the dogs at daycare. So before I said anything else to the chat, I went into... I went into the to my, my closet and I kind of start feeling some of my jeans. Hot dog, I found my credit card. Yay! So that solved that problem. All right, good deal. Now, I still got this problem. And it still ain't working. It still shows a green light on the top two and a red light on the bottom one. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to hold them both and see if anything happens. No. Because in the picture, it has you hold two of something or another. So I don't know. I'm going to have to call the overhead door. I've got the book, but I don't understand that. I am not, I am not Miss Electronic Engineer person. I Give me a screwdriver and I can screw something in. I can even drill a hole and screw that in. But nope, nope, this is not good. Not good at all. So tomorrow, I'm going to have to call the overhead door people. Not only do I want them to fix this one, but I need a new garage. I want a second garage door opener because now what this means is tomorrow, whenever I leave for work, oh, I got to make sure I have keys to my house and my purse because if I don't and I try to come in the house, I'm going to I'm gonna have to crawl through the dog door. Wouldn't that be fine? How do you do it? My poor neighbors would be like, what is she doing now? I think this is the door to my front door. I'm going to have to try it. But uh, anyway, so yeah. And I can't crawl through the dog door if the dog door is closed. So I'm going to go try this. Hang on. This way you will have, you'll have closure on this issue. Y'all, it wasn't none of these keys. I don't even know what them keys go to. You know where it was at? This is the key on the car keychain. Sometimes I'm so stupid. Anyway, it's the key that's on my keychain. So I have no idea what these, I know what the little ones go to, but I have no idea whose house them big ones go to. And I, it's not my mama's key. So I have no idea. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to go to the, to the, who's this overhead door people? I keep pushing just in hopes, but it ain't going up. So I gotta call the overhead door people tomorrow. And, and I gotta be like, yeah, I need a remote fixed and I need another remote because the keypad don't work either. I don't think. I gotta take another bite. Well there's a thing where you could just pull the batteries out, you know, but I can't get it to open up. So I think I'm just going to have to have them do a work order. I don't know, but maybe doing it at 5.30 in the evening when it's pitch black isn't the best time to do it. So I will maybe try again later, but, you know, the keypad, because it ain't working. But I for sure need to go get this stupid thing figured out. So anyway, all right, well, I'm eating this and some fruit, and that's my supper. And that's what I know. You are in the loop. I got some little drama. It ain't drama, drama, but it's my version of drama because we know. I live a very flat line life and I like it that way. I come home and it's just me and the dogs. I don't have to communicate with anybody of no humans face to face or voice except for my mama. I got to call her right back because she just called. But I don't have to socialize when I'm home. So now, you know, so anyway, my life is very flat line. It's, it goes up and down at work, but then when I get home, it's back down to just you, and that's just how I like it, it's you, but right now, it's beep. So, all right, anyway, that's what I know. Love y'all. Jesus loves you too, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Y'all, I done did it. I fixed my remote. I I did a little research about how, because I, I, I look in the stupid book and it wasn't clear. It didn't tell me how to, look at this dumb boy. He's just licking my arm. He's such a dork. What you doing, Bubba? Anyway, so I reset 
I climbed on my ladder, hit the reset button, and then pushed the button on my remote, and I did it all by myself. I'm so excited. I fixed my remote, so I'm able to open and close the garage door. I still want to get another one, another little, you know, jugga jugga. But yeah, yay, Terry. Good job, Terry Toodaloo. Ha <laughs> ha.